Hey guys, Jay Miller here at Mountain Dog Companion. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, just gonna be talking about Juliet and Paddington's letter today. Super fun, uh, super grateful to have this letter. They're ranging from size and personality. Uh, the personalities are just starting to come out. I'm just gonna be talking about uh, a little bit about Juliet here. She is ranging between 80 and 85 pounds, uh, typically between 82 pounds. Uh, she does drop and uh, gain a little bit here and there. Uh, Paddington, he's about around 95 pounds, uh, big beautiful guy, just uh, beautiful parents and they uh, produce quite some uh, beautiful puppies, so what do you expect, I guess? Um, both parents have been genetically tested, uh, the paperwork is available on the site if you're interested, and they're both AKC registered as well. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the boys and girls of this litter, just going to be starting off with the girls here. Um, I do have Jess here to start off. Uh, she's a beautiful laid back Bernice um, and she has the traditional white stripe in between the eyes, the uh, brown extending down the side here and uh, nice white on the tips of her toes here and the back as well with that tan kind of ranging down um, and of course the white tip tail um, which is definitely a trademark to a Bernice. Um, she is a little bit more laid back uh, she's super sweet. She loves being held. She loves attention. Um, super fun. Beautiful little eyebrows too. Good girl. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna set uh, her over here. And I'm gonna be going through uh, with a microchip reader here. Um, and just scanning each one just to make sure we don't uh, lose track and make sure we're not mixing anything up for you since they look uh, pretty identical. And uh, this is a larger girl here. Um, her name is June. Uh, she's on the bigger side, a little bit more stockier built. Um, she just woke up from her nap, so I'm a little bit intrusive, I guess. Um, but she's super beautiful. She does have, have those white tip toes also, um, and the, the white socks in the back. Uh, just beautiful confirmation. Very beautiful little girl. Um, she does have the tuxedo look as well and the white tip tail, of course. Um, she is certainly, these two girls are one of the bigger ones uh, from the litter. I'm gonna be talking about one of the smaller ones now. <laughs> she's something else. She's, it's crazy that these guys come from the same litter. Um, she's super small and with very nice markings, but just a smaller version um, of Jude and Jess. Um, her name is, let me see here. Good girl. This is Judy. Um, she does have a little bit less white in between her eyes, if you can see that. Um, but she's super beautiful. I kind of like the the less um, of your wide stripe. It kind of um, brings out the eyebrows here in the top and uh, brings out the tan points. She's super beautiful. I would guess her uh, to be in that lower range between maybe 70 and 75 pounds. If I had to guess, it's just an estimated, uh, estimated guess. So, um, but beautiful little girl. She does have the white tips in the back and the front, white tip tail, um, the tuxedo look in the front, and beautiful tan markings. Uh, just a beautiful little girl. Again, that is Judy. Moving on here, who are you? This is a medium sized one. She is certainly in between um, Jude and Jess um, and then in between um, those two and Judy here. I'm um, just gonna be seeing here which one we have. Um, this would be Joy. Um, like I said, she's on the medium side. Um, does have that beautiful white marking in between this in between the eyes the tan points ex uh, extending to the side there um, on both sides and of course those white uh, tip toes there uh, and the hind uh, toes bo both have white too a nice tall little girl <laughs> we do have updated videos um, and pictures on the website hopefully um, here in the next day or so and you'll be seeing these puppies individually. We'll start doing the pics here uh, pretty spontaneously and move forward kind of get everyone in the loop and um, Keep everyone updated and see which ones uh, people end up going with so um, Next up here This is the last but not least girl. Uh, her name's Jane. 
She's a little bit on the smaller side, side not quite as small as Judy, um, but she's super beautiful. She does have those white tipped toes um, in the front and a little bit more white in the back there with tan extending down um, through the legs and just beautiful tan points, a beautiful traditional Bernice look, uh, the white tip tail, beautiful little guys or girls I should say, um, really fun litter. So um, I'm going to be talking about the boys here in a second. Moving on to the boys here. Um, we have four boys of this litter. Um, I'm gonna be starting off with Jupiter here. Uh, he's on the smaller side. He's just chillaxed in my lap here. Uh, loves being held. A little bit on the smaller side. Um, probably the smallest boy overall, but he's not necessarily, he's not as small as Judy. Um, he's not the smallest of the litter. He's just kind of in between. Uh, but because of uh, the larger sizes of the boys, he's a little bit on the smaller side. Um, he does have that nice traditional stripe, uh, front and back um, tips on his paws here. If you can see uh, the white tip tail and of course the tan points on the eyebrows. Um, I'm gonna be interrupting this guy's nap. Maybe I can scan him real quick. And this is Jasper. Come here, big dude. <laughs> He's certainly, uh, he is the biggest guy. Um, Jasper here, he's a beautiful guy. He has white, a little bit more white on his toes or on his paw area uh, and on the back, um, extending down towards the toes, tan points, um, eyebrows, just a beautiful, very nice confirmation boy, white tip tail and just um, an absolute sweetheart. Personalities are just starting to come out. The boys are, um, everyone's just kind of um, chillaxed and not getting too crazy yet. Just kind of getting their playful side and um, we'll see more of that coming up here in the next couple weeks for sure. Um, I'd like to say probably even in the next week or so we'll, we'll see more personalities and uh, playfulness come out and that sort of thing. So moving on to Joey here. Uh, Joey is medium sized, beautiful coat. Um, Nice white stripe. He does have a little bit less on his face um, as far as a stripe goes, which gives him a kind of a unique look, honestly. Yeah, more tan on the side. Uh, just a beautiful little guy. The tan kind of pops out. Um, he does have the traditional uh, the white tuxedo look here. A little bit less white on his paws. Um, the back paws do have a little bit more um, white compared to the front but overall just a little bit less white with him. Uh, has a beautiful, unique look. And then moving on to Jet here, last but not least um, of the boys, he's on the bigger side. He's probably second in size from the boys. Um, he does have your traditional markings, a nice white stripe in between the eyes. Still got his pink puppy nose. You can still see that. Um, it'll probably black out here in uh, the next couple weeks, but he does have a nice, unique look on his paws. Uh, the left paw has a little bit more white compared to the right, and the right one has more tan extending down. Uh, the back paws are pretty even there. Um, overall, a beautiful little guy, tuxedo look. Uh, maybe a little bit more energetic, or so to speak, maybe a little bit more active, which we'll see more of here in the next week or two. Um, but overall, a beautiful little guy. A beautiful litter in general. Um, again, that's Juliet and Paddington's litter. Um, Juliet around 80 to 85 pounds, Paddington around 95 pounds. Um, genetic health testing is on the site. In the more info button, you can also see the AKC registration. Um, you can see these beautiful puppies featured on the, on the website. You'll see pending pick underneath them uh, since we do have those four or five different re reservations on that litter uh, or on this specific litter. So, but if you do have any questions regarding the puppies, any puppies on Mountain Dog Companion, um, anything coming up, future, uh, current, just please give me a call. My number is 330-621-3917. You can also email at us, uh, email us at mountaindogcompanion at gmail.com. Thanks for tuning in to today, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. We'll see you next time.